Okay, we're moving to the next adventure. I'll promise you it will be very easy. So if we look at the problem, we have this string. It's called query string. This is another way to pass the information from browser to the server. Yeah, it's similar to URL parameter, but it's not quite the same because you get the data after this question mark. So it's called a query string. Uh, so what we need to do, we need to implement last sure search. Query strings are often used in searches to uh, provide some uh, filters, for example, or some options, and uh, we would use get for that. Okay, so let's go to our editor. And uh, I'm creating another file. It's this adventure number seven. So the good thing about query, similar to the param middleware, uh, we don't need any external modules. It will just work automatically. We don't need to apply anything as well. So we're importing the express module, creating an object, and then we define our browse slash search, get slash search, and we have the request handler with rec and res. And then the query object is basically inside of the request object reg.query. That's our guy. And then we output it back. And then we, on line 9, we're listening to the port provided to us by the workshop. As always, we can uh, create a manual fallback, hard-coded value of 3000, in case we want to launch it without any arguments. So, you can have multiple objects here. So ExpressJS will automatically create that object for you and populate it. Okay, so let's save it. Let's go to the terminal. The terminal. I want to run this. It's actually number seven. Okay, so it works. That's wonderful. Okay, it passes. Our solution is similar to the official solution. No wonder there. Uh, but let me demo you how it works and uh, how it looks in the browser. We haven't done that for a while. So here I am. This is left over from some previous exercises. So let's say name is John. And age is 30. It crashes because I don't have it running. So uh, it's, a, it's always a good thing to have the server running before testing it. Okay, so now I'm running it. Refresh and I get my object back. The reason why, why you see this nicely formatted, I'm using this. Uh, Chrome extension is called JSON view. So you would see something like that because most likely you don't have that extension yet, but it's a good extension. Go get it. Um, and uh, yeah, we can have multiple parameters. So the interesting thing with um, Express.js is if we have two parameters in a query string with the same um, key, with the same name, basically different values, in this case 30 and 31, uh, Express.js will uh, work just fine. It will create an array of values. So just be mindful when you're checking for existence, uh, when you're sanitizing your data input, don't introduce any vulnerabilities, security vulnerabilities for hackers, because um, yeah, the data type will change from a string. Now it's uh, an array and uh, both strings and array in JavaScript, if you use that length, they would work. So that's all.